Oh dang it. Wanna see something cool? Yeah. Wait, what's that called? Cartwheel. Was that cool? Nope. Well, my mom's making lasagna tonight if you want to come over. Sure. Oh, I am full after that lasagna. I know, that hit the spot. She put so much cheese in it, and the cheese was actually made from whole breasts that I used to suck on when I was little. That's why it had that taste. Yeah, I was breastfed when I was little. Oh, I you? wish. No, I was a formula baby. Yeah, but I'm actually trying to start YouTube. So do you want to be in this video with me? Oh, is that where the lighting is at? Oh, okay, perfect. I'm down. <laughs> okay. How long is this skit going to go for? Um, or can we be ourselves now? I kind of wanted us to keep doing it so that we actually think it's real life even after we're not filming this. Hello, it's um, Jacob. And I'm Lucas. And today, we've already reacted to unpopular opinions. We made people mad. We got canceled. Babies are ugly as the F word. Honestly, I have to agree with you. I don't think they're ugly, but I think all babies look the same. So when someone has a baby, they're like, Be People actually took it to the level of when we went to Walmart, they got one of those clothespins and put it on our nose and it did really hurt, but you know, life of a YouTuber. Every time I go to Walgreens, I get spanked now. It's actually a thing now. When I walk into Walgreens, the CEO makes me bund over because he wants to spank me because he watched the video and he got mad, if that makes sense. That's um, our life now. I feel like I actually invented something. I think it's annoying when people say that, but I'm gonna say I invented it. What? Unpopular photos. Is that like, like a category? I've heard of cursed images. You stole an idea and then just renamed it. Yeah, that's what everyone does though. Should we say a poil before? Sure. Mm, it's, a, it's, a, it's not that gross. We aren't like sinning. Don't forget to subscribe and without further ado, One let's more get on into the video. We have a podcast And then do a too. transition. But we have a podcast. Oh, also check out our podcast. Yeah, then do the transition. And without further ado, get into the video. Maybe you can do like one of those things where like a star comes out. <laughs> now <laughs> we're gonna get into the video. <sighs> now we're actually in the part of the video. That's the video. <laughs> That's so annoying. <laughs> Ew! What? <laughs> How do you take a shit? I know, that's just uncomfortable. Even to pee would be awkward. And this is also sexist because guys, we can whip it out and pee standing up. Girls, it's a lot harder to do that. Yeah, so when I'm on a whack, I like how I have a dick because I can pee if I'm in like a wilderness area, but with a vag, it seems like it's more how to. Yeah, like I've, I've had friends who've definitely squatted and peed, but it seems like it gets over your, on your legs and stuff. Sort of a thing that like you build up to and you get skills as you keep doing but it. But someone did invent a um, vaginal pee cup. So, oh, yeah. Why that shit? Can you lift up the toilet seat or is it just gone? I feel like someone was redoing a house and they were just being annoying to the owners. Like they were just being dicks and decided to do that. And they thought, oh, oh yeah. sorry, that's what the contract said. <laughs> when I get a house, I want to get a house with a yono in it. But is that gross? For some reason it grosses me out. But like, <laughs> I, that would be cool to have though. But for some reason it is gross if someone has one. It makes it seem like trashy or something. I don't know, but it also seems fancy because like no one has that. Yeah. It seems sexist. Okay, cause I'm where? Kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's actually really bad. You would just have to poop out of one of your butt cheeks and that's fine. We all know how to do that. <gasps> poop alert! Whenever Jacob says poop in a video, don't forget to thumb up the video. Oh yeah, create a new YouTube account and thumb it up. You're disgusting. <laughs> Um, I just searched gross photos and went to Google <laughs> Images. This one just, I, I know. I'm sorry guys, I'm a, I'm just annoying everyone. How now. does that happen? Because our dad does have toenails that are yellow. So I'm just scared. When's that gonna happen to me? Oh, I'm not hating on our grandpa. I love our grandpa. But one time I saw his toes and under the toenail, so this is the toenail. Under it was a little bit of cream. I don't know how Ew! that happened. <sighs> not only that, but they're so dry. Like. Put some moisturizer, CeraVe cream on your feet, and then put socks over it and go to bed. But maybe this is just what happens when you get old and there's no way of preventing it. 
I'm gonna get plastic surgery on my toes. I'm never letting that happen. Wait, there's actually an info thing. Toenails and fingernails can become infected by fungus. When this happens, the nails may change color, become thick, crack, or break easily. Nail infection infections can be caused by a weak immune system or nail been decently damaged. If you're watching this and you're like, wait, my toes look like this. We're not judging you, go see a doctor. What is saying that you have fungus on your toe and you don't want fungus on your toe? You're a fungus girl, but you already knew that. But at the same time, I'm shaming them, so I'm sad. Then again, it's natural. Yeah! Society made us think it's gross. That's exactly! We were groomed to think it's gross. <laughs> when really, really, like, bad. this is just how humans are. Accept it, love it. Huh? <laughs> I know, like, I know everyone's clicking off already. Wait, what is that? I don't know, it just is disgusting. Is that a fishing pole? Like, the end of a fishing pole? I think it's like a fish that has, like, a big penis? For some reason, this one doesn't gross me out as much because it reminds me of fishing with dad. You put stuff on the end of a pole, throw it out, and catch things. But have you ever seen that little line of swigglies-ness? Now, I'm not an animal abuser, obviously, but I when, I when I did go fishing with dad, I used to squeeze the worms because I thought it was fun. So you are an animal abuser. Is that? <laughs> Is a worm an animal? <laughs> they don't even have eyes, I don't think. I'm sorry to the worms. Will you not show me doing that, though? What? <laughs> Ew! Why does that look like our sister kind of? Wait, what sister? Do you see something kind of in the face? Oh! Oh my gosh, I can! <laughs> That's weird! This is a cursed image. So like, I saw a bunch of um confusing perspective photos. Oh, but it's this from the one... Reddit confusing perspective, right? Yeah, and this one really caught my eye because it looks like, like this person doesn't have a neck. But then once you actually look at it, it starts to be normal. Because how you see, do you see the blonde hair behind of the actual head? But even still, how's that fate? I guess it all makes sense. Is the blonde hair for the person with the white shawl? Or oh no, the blonde hair is the one with the crop top. But then the person with the white shawl has no neck? Well, it's just like scrunch. And that guy in the back just doesn't care. I'm guessing he like just went to the bathroom. You know, like sometimes you go to the bathroom so fast because you feel like you're in a rush and there's a little bit of pee in your pants. I feel like that's what's happening with him. I think you might be wanted for murder. I don't get it. Let's move on. <laughs> this one just showed up when I searched unpopular images. <laughs> Should we try to make the face? Oh my, you should do a video and be a stock model for a day. Like you sign up, vlog the whole entire day of all the different setups being a stock model. Oh yeah. I want to see a day in the life. And also I want to, yeah, I just want to know what it's like, what's the pay, how does it go? How many setups as well? Like obviously this setup where she just did facial, different facial expressions, but then afterwards they have her like do other weird things. Yeah, and when you go to stock photos websites, I don't know if I've only dug this far, but have you seen some weird ones? like? Okay, I, I don't know if this is a thing, but if you search mayonnaise on face, somehow some stock company I know, has that's it. what I'm saying. What else did she have to do after this? Yeah, so they, they somehow they just go, they find all the good searches and do all them. Oh. I'm guessing after this, she was in a bathtub, probably just like had to put fake pubic hair on her face for some reason. Or like had to put pizza rolls over her eyes instead of cucumbers a spa day. You can tell she's in a bad mood. Like she thought it would be fun being a stock model, but now she's like, I already signed the contract, so I have to, but it's kind of getting, I just don't want to be here. But she did call her family during this photo shoot and be like, I'm doing a photo shoot. And she kind of made up that it was for something else. Oh yeah, like made it seem like it was for like <laughs> a magazine or something. Being in stock photos, you're being seen by so many people. Yeah. It sucks though because you get paid one, I think you only get paid like $70 or something, some like smaller amount, and then they can just use you for the rest of eternity. Like you sign away the image forever. You could go to New York. 10 years later, basically I have no money and you could be on that. Yeah, because I listened to this girl's podcast and she did stock modeling like 15 years ago and every now and then people will tweet her and be like, you're in an ad for a fitness thing. That's crazy. So the, the stock companies are kind of screwing them over, but... It's a good business. Yeah. So if you want to be a model for a day, then you just, you make all the money and they make nothing. And then you sell it to Nike for $100,000. We actually have an email for that. Modeling... Lucas Jacob modeling at Oh my god, should we start a stock photo company? I would be down. We invent stock photos by saying, actually, once every five years, we're gonna gobble how much money the image has made and pay you 20% of it. No. We just say, you get free food for the day, you get glam, hair and makeup, you can 
keep the target out that we buy. And like you get, you also can take the photos and post them wherever you want. You can do a little photo shoot, but you don't make any money and we get to use the photos for the rest of your life and you have no say and we own your image. 100%. And you get a photo of us doing a selfie and us, we sign it. Even though no one wanted <laughs> that, that's just a part of it. Like making it seem like it's glamorous even though no one wanted that. Wait, what? Why would you ever want that to be the thing people see when they are driving behind in front of you? Yeah, this one's more disturbing because this girl is getting hung. Yeah. But I'm not an anime fan, so maybe it's part of like a popular anime. <laughs> I know, but still, like, why would you want that to be the first thing people see? Like, can you imagine being looking in your rearview mirror and seeing that? You'd make someone crash. <laughs> I have seen people with bumper stickers, like, with their political views and stuff. This is another level. Wait, what are you allowed to do? Like, are you allowed to just show, like, Pamela Anderson bent over on your hood? How does that work? Yeah, because how I far own... can it go? Yeah, because I own my vehicle, so can I put whatever I want Could you it? have the most violent image ever on there and just say, oh, it's just from an anime? <laughs> Probably the most um, crazy thing I've seen on a car is um, people put balls on their thing. Cause it looks like I'm a man. Oh, I hate that. You're right though. Can I put a picture, a screenshot of Kim Kardashian sex tape on my car and just say, it's my vehicle. I'm just trying to express myself. I don't think you're allowed to be naked in public though. What about- You have to be like, if her boobs were covered, you could. That's so weird. Oh my God. Why aren't people taking advantage of this? I know, I need to tell. But the only thing is that I don't want my car to get beat up from like a group of prudes. I just want to let it be known that obviously you don't have to be a prude to not like seeing Kim Kardashian having sex. Um, hopefully you're not offended and hopefully we can still be friends and continue what's happening. With this type of thing on your hood, like you might be more likely to get pulled over. Yeah, because you look really violent because a girl is about to die in your Yeah. Thing. But at the same time, if this was an actual girl, that shit, maybe that should be illegal. <laughs> because that's scary. <laughs> But then again, BDSM is a thing and people want to do that. That's true. Also, if you have a car like this, just so you know, if you were ever planning on it, you cannot kidnap anyone. Because if the Amber Alert comes out and says, this is the license plate, and also they have a girl hanging on the front, that is way more people oh, are going to notice you on the freeway. So when you have the kidnapped people, they're going to notice. Why are you giving advice to those I'm people? just saying, if you're thinking about kidnapping, probably get that covered before you do it. Whenever I get an Amber Alert, that shit is Gary, like I get it, we're trying to notify the community. But oh, I just come clean about the truth. What do you mean? Jacob disabled <laughs> the Amber Alerts on his phone because they scare him. <laughs> Boo, you're supposed to help. I understand it, I understand it, but that's, I just don't think I'm gonna find the cop. So. <laughs> Can you imagine if you were a kid, they were like, don't worry, we'll send out the Amber Alert, and then most people have it disabled because they're scared? <laughs> Boo, it's reality, you accept it. Let's continue. What is that? <laughs> this was on the Reddit shitty food porn. It's a oh, great Reddit. Oh, I love that Reddit. Yeah, I, I love it because it reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to eat the most, like just, I would make the weirdest combinations of shit. And also I think it proves that like we have white trash deep in our soul because lots of times I'll look at the food on shitty food porn and I think it looks good. Like, I it's know. just like, it's just spaghetti with hot dogs cut up and I'm like, that would actually be good. We all have to admit. And I'm pretty sure this is- What's it dumped in though? I think it's French onion soup with, um, Bread cheese. Honestly, Honestly, amazing. Yeah, I think French onion soup is good. If you ever want a snack that's filling and nutritious, get a piece of bread, preferably white. Bread. white. Put butter on it. And then put it in the microwave for eight seconds, no longer, no shorter. And you'll have a piece of butter bread. It used to be a classic in our childhood growing up and Somehow none of us were obese. Yeah, somehow. I remember some people would make stacks of it. Um. Huh? I forgot why I found this, but it's two people. Is this a stock photo? No, it was actually on Reddit and someone said the girlfriend likes taking photos like this. It's kind of a vibe, to be honest. Like they weren't actually having sex in the public bathroom. So like that fine. would probably be a cool OnlyFans where they're wearing those the whole time and just doing sex tapes. No one will ever know who you are and you still can make so much money because it's also just a thing that like BuzzFeed's gonna write an article about it. I'm guessing most people are like, I wanna start an OnlyFans, but I don't want my family to know about it, you know? But this you, is a way. You can make the $5,000 or however much they make, I don't know. But then 
no one knows. And then it would be fun when you're 50 telling your kids and making a YouTube video saying, I was the girl who had sex with the bag over my face. <laughs> oh, I was but the you boy. you need to have different bags because like, if she's having sex in that bag, it looks like she's sad the whole time. You need one that's like happy too. This one is interesting though, cause it's like they're in the bathroom having sex and then someone caught them. It's just a vibe. Like somehow I'm seeing like a whole entire like cartoon. They should be a whole cartoon just about <gasps> bag heads. Oh, that's cool. It's just like, they don't even explain it either. And they just like, and they always just like sad moments being like, we don't fit in with anyone else cause we have bags over. Everyone always talks about Rick and Morty, and I- I've never watched it. I want to get into it because I love cartoons, but I haven't watched them in like my adult life or like my upper years life, so I don't know what you Yeah. Mean. But yeah, Boghead the TV show. One cartoon that actually is so good, not to um, pretend I'm straight, but Family Guy. I remember, in oh. high school, I remember in high school watching that and being like, this is so funny. And then I also did watch um, the regular show on Cartoon Network when I was younger. What's that? All the straight boys watching will be like, oh my gosh, I <laughs> talk about it over Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, uh, is this still my Wikipedia photo? <laughs> um, let's actually see. It is. Yep. Somebody is, trolls me and that's a photo. Is that a, a VidCon, right? I'm pretty sure that's the panel that you were in the audience at where I had like a panic attack on stage. And then Troy Savan tried to help you, right? Yeah, it was like, so okay? awkward. I don't know what happened. It was just the weirdest moment ever in my life. Like I froze, it seemed like time stopped. And then it was just so awkward because I was in the middle of a story and I just stopped telling it. I didn't sleep at all. Oh. And also I just was nervous to like be on a panel with Troy Sivan and Rebecca Black. Like I was like, I don't belong here. Impos Your insecurities got in the way. Imposter syndrome. But Troy Sivan was actually really nice. He was like, do you want to drink some water? Yeah, he's actually with us right now in the closet. Rebecca Black was so rude about it. <laughs> <laughs> literally everyone was nice. But I literally, I'm not kidding. I wish I would have done it for the dramatic effect, but I literally, like 90% of my body was just saying, let's just leave the stage. This one didn't pop up when I typed in gross photos. It was oh actually God, a joke. Hopefully not. It was a joke. I'm glad that I don't look back at myself from six years ago and think, oh my God, I was so hot back then. Like, I feel like I'm way hotter now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's weird because like, you obviously don't look so different, but there is a difference. Yeah, I don't know what's different. Also, I had a chubbier face, right? Um, be honest, I don't care. I, I don't actually don't think so. Trying to be unproblematic. <laughs> okay, that's going to the next one. <laughs> I don't want anyone to get sad. Ew! <laughs> okay, so I was on the <laughs> Nostalgia Reddit, and since you were alive in the 90s, this was a, it was in like the 90s or 95s, but for a Duracell commercial, the batteries, this is what the commercial was. I don't remember that, and I'm so thankful. Oh, uh, we're back. I might actually had to, Take a piss break, cause I'm a waddle fanatic. I actually um, work for Aquafina. We have small bladder syndrome. Yeah, I wish someone made a surgery to expand my bladder, but unfortunately, the doctors are focused on other things. There is a surgery where they can cut you open and then just like stretch out the bladder like a balloon. I probably wouldn't do it to be honest, <laughs> that's scary. Okay, I'm scared to watch this commercial. I just don't like seeing people like that. Wait, is it cartoons or a costume? Maybe it's like a mask they put on. Oh, they're supposed to be dolls. Oh, because they but need batteries. Obviously it's messed up they killed that doll, but the most scary part to me is just how they look. Lazy Town, I liked it when I was a kid, but you know that one guy in the building? Oh, he Creepy. reminds me of that. I just don't like seeing pe people, but people, that out people are trying to look like people. Like if aliens came to Earth and they look like us, but they out us, that's creepy. I know, it's like, unfortunately we're gonna have to throw a nuclear bomb at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> For the president. <laughs> what? Oh, it's just confusing perspective. <laughs> yeah, um, it just is a cat. Actually, no, not a cat, a pussy shitting on a house. I wanna take photos like this, where like you, you pretend you're standing on the house, you know? Wait, I wanna go to this place, yeah, and, and squat. Yeah. Do a squatting pose and That would be cool. Follow our Instagram for that, because we have some interesting content coming up. We're working with brands. <laughs> <laughs> on Reddit, I noticed that a lot of the Reddit users have cats. I don't know if that means anything, guys, I'm just letting you Twitter's know. dogs, um, Reddit's cats, Instagram is Sugar daddies? Yeah, and then YouTube is probably ferrets. Yeah, everyone on YouTube has a ferret. This one doesn't make me feel weird. But it isn't that confusing. It's like she's yeah. sitting on a post or whatever that thing is. 
<laughs> I actually handpicked this one because have you been on a walk and seen these dicks that live in the wild? Oh, I like those though. It just is weird. It's like a hot dog on a stick. Yeah, have you ever eaten one? No, do they taste like hot dogs? Yeah. These are called like, um, oh, cocktails, if you're wondering. This just remind me of pontoon boats on the river with the family Budweiser tubing. Oh, yeah. And then you get on the tube, and then this big boat comes, and it's sucking all the water up, and then you almost get sucked up under the boat. <laughs> actually it also surprise. reminds me of going on a friend's boat day in high school with her family. Her dad was going so fast around the lake, everyone was holding on and like no one wanted to speak up and say, can you slow down? And then eventually he hit a wave. Everyone popped out of their seats. People hit the ground, fell. People were crying. Did and they then, like, bleed? No, no one was bleeding. It was so awkward. Everyone was yelling at him saying, you're so fucking annoying. You made all of us get hurt. And then it was just so awkward. And me being uh, the only person who wasn't in the family, I just like, I was like, kind of just get off the boat. Like it's just so awkward being involved in this family. Was he fight. drunk too, kind of? I don't remember. Good but I do time. remember we got Popeyes to bring to the boat. Oh. It was the first time I ever had Popeyes. I feel like I just got Popeyes two years ago. I had it back then. This is just interesting because it's weird that whoever created the earth put hash, hot dog slash dick things in the wild. I know. It's like, we get it. You're a comedian. Let's stop putting jokes in the world. Wait, maybe these are homemade dildos. <laughs> Actually, don't do that. You're probably going to die. Is this also some shitty food porn? Yeah. This he was like, hot dogs with peanut butter. <laughs> Honestly, we just said shitty food. I love it. But this one, I don't know how I feel. Yeah, this one is just like... I think that is peanut butter. It's oh, maybe it's hummus. That isn't good either way. Also, those hot dogs are too skinny. I like a thick dog. Yeah. I like a thick, short dog. When they're long and skinny, it's like... I hate mm. when you put a hot dog in a bun and it goes off the edges. Oh, that's kind of... Yeah. Sad. A little bit ah. Yeah, this one I'm not getting on the boat for that. It looks like those type of hot dogs you bite into and it'd be a little bit hard to bite into. Oh, it has like the casing around Ugh. it. You're actually supposed to eat one hot dog a year, but I disobey that and eat one hot dog every two weeks. So, no, I probably eat like three hot dogs every two weeks because when I do eat a hot dog, I have to eat three. <laughs> Aren't we going off of the hot dog, only eat a hot dog a year from the housewives? Yeah, I don't know if it's true. I do know they're like really bad for you. Yeah, like, actually, like, low-key, like, make you die. I know. Like, if you've noticed whenever you eat a hot dog for the next month, you're just tired. Are you joking? I'm kidding. Oh. I would never eat it if that happens. But I do picture, like, I'm just used to eating hot dogs, but I feel like if someone was born in a family, like, where they eat, like, rice and grains and yeah. noodles, and then they ate a hot dog, they actually be like, I'm gonna throw one. Olivia Jade. <laughs> if she had a hot dog, she would literally be, have to go to the uh. hospital. She got <laughs> sent to see her cyanide, and she went, oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> she would be there for the next month, have IVs in her arms. Like, I literally know mouth. nothing about her. I've never watched any of her videos, but I did hear, I think I watched one video where she ate like Trisha Paytas or something like that, and she said she hadn't ever eaten Taco Bell, and that's when I was like, I don't know you, I don't know your values, your morals, but I'm never gonna watch another video. <laughs> I blocked actually, her on all social media. I actually did too. I just wonder <laughs> if anyone's ever watched one of our videos and like heard one sentence like that and just unsubscribed, because you know it happens. Oh. And all of us judge each other so easily. I actually have something to say. I feel like if Olivia Jade watched our video and oh. she heard me munching like, I shit, or something <laughs> like poop, she would for sure like, be like, oh, these guys gross me out. I know, she's be like, oh, I would watch them, but like, it makes me feel sick. Yeah, she wouldn't be mean on anything. Yeah, she'd just be like, honestly, go them, like, live your life, but like, me personally, like, I'd rather they didn't, we're on the planet. Maybe move to the ocean with the mole mates. Oh, <laughs> we'll actually get into the last one. <laughs> oh, no, that looks like genital mutilation. Ugh. It's actually a moldy, moldy orange. Also, the rubber gloves in the back. I feel like someone was using this to fuck it or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. This is just gross. I I want to eat an orange, but after this, I don't know if I'm getting up. Some people have a theory that oranges breathe. Well, because if you look close on a microscope, it's breathing. I made will. all that up. Oh, <laughs> you know, I was like, that's weird. Because what if like it is alive, but we just don't know? <laughs> Imagine if you heard it talk. <laughs> I wish there was a world where like. Like, you could, like, maybe if you get into a deep meditation, it's possible, but, like, you could, like, tack to, like, the microwave. <laughs> I've never done drugs, like, how to I wouldn't want to do that. That sounds scary. No, but if you were, like, still your normal self. <laughs> but if you wanted to, you could say, like, and then the computer said, hey! <laughs> okay, let's move. That was all for them, the unpopular images. How unpopular do you feel about these images on a scale from one to ten? Um, I feel like it was a playful disturbance. Nothing too crazy, but like it was a good amount of just a little bit of irking. Yeah, mine would be like a four out of ten. I'm like, obviously just like a little bit grossed out, but it's like, 
I've seen gross old stuff, trust yeah. me, stuff that you guys wouldn't even want to see with your own two <laughs> eyes with a ton foot pole. Toodaloo, um, I'm gonna go to my clueless closet where I'm gonna pick up my next outfit because I have a sugar daddy that pays for everything. Toodles! Bye. Let's actually go. Gay. Okay.